And I get knockdown immunity, which is super cool. Uh, you know what? I'm going to skip bluff. I'm going to put a point in heal. And I'll do that again next. Make that an actual full... Uh, greater. Greater shield mastery. And let's see. So we are going to respect. I don't have. Too much platinum. Respect. I even have any gold in the. God. How much? Five. Hopefully, this is like the last time I. I think everything is good over there. Okay, we definitely want that. That's this one of the reasons why I'm respecting. So Want a lot in there. There's our shield. Unity to fear. For right now, we do need this resist energy. This is good to have, but we're not going to worry about it at the moment. It's going to one point to seed up because I would rather get my light damp up. Alright, so that looks great. That looks great. Here. Yeah, we want to go up one there. Alright, that looks really good. Because I respect, I have to redrag all this stuff to the bar. Make sure I have quicken on everything that I want quicken. It's good. I'm going to move finger closer. Do 
we should have that in case. Okay. All right, and we've got this now. Yeah, we've got greater heroism, death ward, displacement. We've got a whole bunch of yummy stuff now. And I've got all the shield masteries. Great thing about these, not that I really care about the AC or the combat melee power or the double strike. It's just for the extra hit point. You could also do single weapon fighting for these just to get the extra hit points for hardcore. And the reason is they give you more hit points than using something like toughness. Hopefully SSG changes that and they fix toughness to actually give you the same or more than taking these. But right now, the combat styles give you more. So super useful, you know, to get our hit points up a bit, right? Um, so the next thing we need to do is oh, sell this stuff. Somebody's dancing with me. Okay. Now I'm floating. Now I'm an enlightened spirit. Okay, that's a pretty decent ring. Con 7 at level 14. So we're going to save that. This cloak has a yellow slot. We're going to save that. And this armor is garbage. Sell it. Okay, so first thing I want to do is... Oh, I need to talk to this dude. So he gave us five more hit points. We're turning in... You know, the patron bonus. And I have one in house J, so we'll go turn that in too. Right there. Easy peasy. Uh, gone this way. Oh, no, no, no. Patron's up here. Right here. Slick. All right, so now we can continue with Sharn. And make sure that I have an extra Larafe, just in case. We have not got any real useful gear out of any of these, you fortunately. One of About time you got here, grumbles the old man. They've already started. Get on board quick like and I'll ferry you up to their window. Mr. Vaunt, I assume this is about your request to join the... Okay, now I'll Conference, start buffing up. So I'm going to give Larafe uh, heroism and death ward. 
Yes, well, I prefer audacity to subtlety. I admit that subtlety has allowed the Aurum to do as they please with the Five Nations for many years. Probably give her but Blur, too. To offer your organization cannot be ignored. Then I'll give us both this energy resistance. What cannot be ignored are those Zendrick bloodhounds sniffing at your heels. You're exposed, Mr. Vaughn. Not for long, my friend. And while I wait for this dialogue session to finish, I'm going to try to recoup some of that mana from using Leary. I know you invited our mutual friends from Stormreach. Don't cry. I said, don't cry. That's better. This is just business, is it? Just business. I'd prefer that you do your house cleaning when I am not present. All right, ready. 723 hit points, pretty decent for level 18, I think. See my improvements firsthand. Not quite dead yet. Calibration issue, perhaps. No matter. Considering I'm an elf. Take Isabel outside. Right. We will adjourn to the yacht. It's time for the next saving throws. Look better. Vaughn's henchman releases a strange charisma. whooping bark, and the darkness around you oh, looking pretty good. Choir of menacing responses. An ambush! Damn us for fools! You turn that off Shots on her. Jasper. The old man produces a bow from somewhere, and giggling shapes descend from above. Dispatched Vaunt's first group of assassins, but they're surely not the last. Vaunt doesn't go in for half measures. Casper wheezes out his words. Ooh, reminds me of my days in the last war, but with more. Okay, you can count on me. Too old for this for sure. Come here, we gotta talk about. Grab another source sled. Okay, I we're good to go. Life on it. You've agreed to help rescue Isabel. To do that, you'll need to clear the way so Casper can follow safely. He says to head to the southeast. Grabbing a source lead first will help even the playing field. Don't forget, shouts Casper. Those source leads can't go too high or too low without losing their enchantment. Keep above the fog and don't try to push over the higher walls and you'll be fine. Another wave of no mercy. Yeah, bursting in the air is pretty cool. See if I can hit any of these people with a death spell. Oh, I literally failed all of them. That's too bad. A motley crew of creatures takes up. I can finger that. Oh, I failed. The low bellow of an ogre. A strange-looking goblin glides up above the bridge. The limp form of Isabel lies on his source lead. The goblin shouts abuse at his gnoll escort. Those nobodies made mincemeat out of your. I'm gonna try again to hit them with a death field. The direct approach wasn't gonna work. I'm gonna go bait the hook on my plan. Wait, goblin meat. And got a couple. In the distance, you hear the null snarl. We cannot look. Up a new source sled just so mine doesn't expire. We die first. While I'm in the air. It's the stupid who die first. And I'll try another. Death field is up soon.
That little pink circle is the bewitching blast. Shouts Casper. Basically, uses them. I'll watch your back. Really cool. All right, so these things are super annoying, and they can easily kill us. So hopefully. Don't let any of them explode near me. The door of a nearby bookshop opens and another cloud of bats streams out. Got them. Inside the bookstore, goblins scramble to release one last clutch of bats from their cages. Exploding bats? Stuff in heroics has so low hit points that die really quick. It's nice. Mutters Casper as he coasts along behind you. Shadows move. Arches of a nearby market. The more of Vaunt's mercenaries await their attention. Why he didn't come down? I'm gonna pick that up. Platinum pieces. Yeah, we can use all that stuff. Pretty broke. Because it's a new server, so. And everything has gone into the ship. The guild ship is very expensive. Not a lot left over after that. But hopefully now that I'm headed to Epics, I'll be able to get more. Plat. There's a lot more at the end game. Not really worried about it. We've purchased already most of the major updates for the ship, so... An air skip. Now there's just the upgrades and stuff to do. Alright, is this... Oh, my source lead expired. On we go. Trap right there. Set up. I try to death field these. All around me. Looks like I got one or two. I'm not a big fan of this particular quest, but... You have to do it in order to unlock the second part, so... An iron defender prowls the storage room. Once you get rid of it, this may prove to be a good place to catch your breath. Okay, I'm gonna use the shrine. 
I'm going to let Larafay use the shrine too. Okay, so here it is. This is the lamest fight in the whole thing. Three sky skiffs descend, and a supporting patrol of gnolls moves to block your path. Is there any end to Vaughn's mercenary army? Hopefully, I don't get a crazy damage boosted jump. Read a little bit. Get down there. Okay. Gonna death field these just to kind of help me out. I didn't get any, but it level drain them. Okay. reaches the wreckage of the mage fire cannons. Three of them. Now I feel like an idiot. Oh, I can use Darling. Thought about her. This city watch station is locked up tight and stands as silent as the grave is it on the all right so let oh do i <sighs> been given a reason to sit this one out. Get, i forgot to get her get her all right we will looks like they're using sky wards casper tells you your source leads might suddenly stop working out here. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I forgot. We need to get to level 18 in order to access her because the next round of quests have a bunch of traps. Goblin says you're strong, but he's just weak. Enough waiting. I'll butcher you now. Feast on your flesh and keep all the glory for myself. You just Sings out the goblin. He's hidden somewhere in the shadows of the You should have stuck with my plan. You're my next meal, goblin meat. Right after these outlanders. In legendary, this dude hits really hard, but in heroic, not too bad. Gish collapses from his wounds. Before you can finish him off, a chanting voice calls your attention to the north and above. A tiefling sorcerer completes his spell on a ledge above him. Gish vanishes, reappearing at the sorcerer's side. Uh, the you know, I'm just... not going to shrine Larifay, but I'm going to vanish from yourself. So, just... The goblin's voice calls to you across the gap. That went about how I expected, so that leaves just little old me. A great big bounty, no partner to split it with, and some nice payback on the side. I'm all ready for you, so come on over. Don't make me wait all night. The goblin's voice echoes through the mists. Remember, I can always drop Miss Isabel on her head and knock off early. Then I visit you some other time. You get me? High above the construction yard, the sore sled slowly drifts up. Isabel's body lies upon the sled, completely still. The goblin is nowhere to be seen. Oh. Out. 
We're gonna go in the back and fight him. It's easier. Hey, Larafe, hang out right here. Wait, one more. Yep, I can. It's way easier than chasing him around and hitting all the mines. They all come back here anyway, so... A level 11 just died. Rip. F. Right? F to show respect. Get what game that was from. Not sure why they're not coming back here, so let's go tag a couple. Okay, there's our. Not gonna follow him. He'll come back. Gonna let him go. Right? You let them go and they come back. That's the phrase. Then they're yours. If they don't come back, then they suck. Something like that. In Irk's case, he sucks because he comes back, but he's not friendly. like to take the gibber's blade from him though gonna let him go there he is it came right back is that him right here Okay, we popped him, and now he's going to... Reset. So let's shoot at these dudes to get him to follow. Oh, oh that's him right there. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. This ought to get him, though. 
the next time. The goblin got to the heap. Now that you have time to catch your breath, you notice the assassin source sled descending slowly, holding the limp form of Isabeth. You've reached Isabeth. It's pretty decent XP though. Nothing, but I'll take the potion of Invis. Always good. Sorry, sweethearts. Them's the bricks. The goblin stands at the platform edge, an odd yet strangely familiar blade piercing his torso. Remember this? Jack Jibber's blade? It's why we get to keep meeting like this. Part two, here we come. So, where is Darling? Right there. Okay.
Okay, I'm back. Hope everybody's having a great Friday. I think I need to get jelly beans for the stream. A lot of talking. And, you know, like my throat gets dry, but supposedly jelly beans are the trick, right? At least that's what I've heard from people who do a lot of public speaking. So it sounds good to me. I also need to get a new headset. I want to get one that's open so it's not as hot. You know what I mean? Like if you play for hours. Also, it's like hard to hear anything but the game. So somebody could like break in and I wouldn't even know. I'd be like, yeah, I'm getting level six now. And some dude would be rifling through my house. So I think they have them where you can, you know, they're like open. So I'm going to look into that. Have my eye on a couple. Luckily, though, I live in a pretty, pretty chill zone in the world. I live in an island off the coast of Massachusetts and pretty low crime. So it's not like I have to really worry about somebody, but I would still rather be able to hear like these are really good headset. If you're going to watch a movie, you know, like if you're going to do like a, a THX surround sound and you really want to be immersed in a theatrical experience they're really good but they're not really good for gaming just because of the other you know interactions that you need to do in reality it's not like you know watching a movie for two hours I have to look into it okay so i have darling i got her out of my bank but we're ready to go. We get any traps. And I'm going to pin Lara Faye here. We'll use her if we need her, but this quest I know pretty well. It should be okay. I guess it all depends An imposing how many champions you get, right? Stop. Please. With no reapers, I'm not that Ontarcano worried. Technic is dealing with a security problem inside this store. For your own safety, leave immediately or face the consequences. The entrance is blocked by a magic field, projected by a modified version of the monster in system. The manager says that mod security detail has kidnapped the informant who comes to meet. They're probably helping him somewhere Open a door to the sky coach, Doc Zokis. They'll capture that fractious wizard any moment now. We'll be the part of the I need to get an enchantment item.
Magma Brute killed another. I really need to work on my enchantment TC. Looks like I got them all. Oh, I see a crest. So I missed that one. I agree. Somebody in guild is saying that Hera is beating the brute for deaths, like killing people, and I agree. I think I've seen Hera's name a lot more. But she's completely optional. I don't know why people even go near her, but... The brute you have to fight, so... I understand that, but with a four level split, you can go into him at level seven. So, you know, the power you have at level seven is way higher than at level five. Get them all. Try to get a hold monster on these. Ah, oh, no. My DC is too low. I need to get it up. I need to look into items to try to get that number up. Let's see what the DC is. Yeah, my DC is only 33. Yeah, that's low. Still, we just hit three out of four, so that's not that's not terrible. It'd be worse. And that one worked, it hit them all, so that's even better. Okay, talk to that guy.
Any of these are champions and they can hurt. A small card by the door reads Huslof Nona, store manager. The door is securely locked. You'll need a key to get in. You unlock the door using the key to the manager's office. Knocking the trigger? Okay, last boss. Oh, not gonna rest. Oh, actually, I probably don't need to, but since I only have 16% mana, I will. This isn't the jungle, Outlander. You can't just blunder around breaking things. The people who matter in this city don't tolerate riots in their shops or attacks on important citizens. I leave these barbarians to you. Yeah, heroic. She doesn't Give hit very, to, very hard. The sky coach flies off, and the lone remaining fox security officer springs to the attack. Like this, though, my damage looks really low. With the battle won, you search the sky coach dock and immediately spot the notebook you've been looking for. Surely it can there we go. Evidence that will incriminate one. And, of course, no loot. Oh, let's grab that remnant. Go. Yeah, nothing. I have not got any loot. Well, I got one thing in one of the quests that that throwing star. But none of the gear, like none of the clothing. It's so hard to loot this stuff, so I might farm Sharn a bit, depending on like if groups are farming it. I'll probably jump in and you know, I'm gonna do it the first time myself, and then if there's later, if there's group, it's all. Jump in and see how it goes. So House of Pain, this one I need Darling for. This one can be really uh, annoying. Greybeard, your would-be informant, lives somewhere upstairs in this slum tenement tower. The door into Evan's apartment stands before you, wide open. This can't be good. Two hobgoblin corpses lie at the feet of a stern gnome. The air smells of sulfur. Okay, and who forget everything. And are you? The gnome demands in a pitiless tone. The creepy gnome investigator nonchalantly gives you a head start, then goes back to work on the crime scene. Nosy neighbors? Really what are they, in my neighborhood? The air suddenly grows warmer. A draft rises from somewhere below. God, forge wraiths. Don't like them. Ah, Jim. Hitting hard? Uh... A little bit.
You have a sense that you're being watched. More so than usual. Feel like I'm being Your watched. Encounters with an odd moon inquisitive and undead spirits notwithstanding. Could be the camera. This must be the place where Evan went for a drink. Perhaps the bartender has seen him. I love this one. You go on the stage and he's like, dude, get off the stage. You turn to head outside, only to find a man standing in your path. He okay, we'll pin Larifay right here. And we don't need Darling yet. We only need her once we get the trap. So we're looking for the lady in black. You come across a crumbling shrine amidst what appear to be ancient ruins. It still gleams with the magic of a shan long vanished. These ne'er do wells have mistaken you for an easy mark. Ne'er do wells. Like that term. They are ne'er do wells. See if I can hit this dude with a finger. Yeah, there we go. There's the lady right there. Okay. So now we need darling. Yes. Right. And I'm going to give you heroism. So. Have her search again. Eight. So we've got one more. There it is, though. Okay, so she did her job, got all eight of the traps. We're good to go. Really awesome that they gave us Starling. Okay, so I'm gonna try. way you f look what the cat dragged in ash de Therash, bounty hunter is having a hard time with some kind of pipe contraption maybe you could help Lots of undead rats. I probably would be really grossed out. Are we really there? I'm sure they don't smell good. Right? Probably don't smell like cotton candy. Ash, 
shouts down the hall. Huh? One of these lights just came on. Nice job, pal. Ashta Therash bellows down the hall. That's the second light. Just one more to go. Where's the other valve? Did I miss it? Missed it. There's one. Huh? The secret door just popped open. Hey, you that's it. it. Ashtatherash calls down the hallway. You should probably investigate. All right, so we're gonna throw Larafe into murder mode and let her just help us nuke at first lady thora gapes at you like a startled deer then she oh. sighs with exasperation if you want something done right you've got to do it yourself Try death field. Oh, they were immune. They're war force. Yes, I saw an immune thing on them. Right, the death field killed the goblins, though. You're a loose end, Italian spoons, and you're done playing house. It looks like we have everyone but the boss. Okay. Should be able to just shield block it right there. Today, we need to keep moving, Thora says. If you want to talk to Evan, you need to do All right. So, in this quest, we would love to see the, the cloak, that would be so cool! So cool. No, I didn't get it. Tough. This gear is tough.
Okay. renowned Korana, a temple dedicated to the god of wealth, located in the pulsing part of Sharn. The main temple has just closed its doors for the evening. You wonder why Kol Koran's high priest wants to meet with you after hours. An imposing man dressed in a noble's finery beckons you from the main courtyard. The Good evening. Happy Friday. Take the sky coach at the end of the northern courtyard. It will deliver you to your destination. One of Sharn's most powerful men has turned against Lucian Vaunt and has selected you to deliver the killing blow against his new enemy. Chat, I have not got a piece of gear that I can use out of any of these quests. The middle Memphis district. To your surprise, Vaunt's Dura Warehouse Starting to think that nothing drops unless you roll the chests. Which, that is like extremely lame. Like pay to win money grab garbage. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get something out of this quest. Stumbling in the hall behind you. You've uncovered a secret passage. Oh, yeah, they all just have to watch my hit points during all this crazy nonsense. Try a finger on that trapsmith. Redisplace myself. Trying to hit everything with a hold monster that I can. Got a couple. What's not held in the hold monster, I'm going to hit with the e -barts. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I gotta avoid those goofball glue bombs, because I don't feel like getting stuck. But... Pretty good. A large group of guards has formed ranks in front of the tower's lower doors. Defend the doors! Man shouts in command. Don't let them pass! Pushing open the doors and it's just a wave of hot air. The heat reminds you more of your time down in the cogs than of the middle city. Do the trap. As you open the first valve, the pipes in the room begin to rupture, and steam hisses from the pipes. 
Another pipe breaks, and the machinery itself begins to shudder. Pulling the final lever causes the temperature in the room to flare up as system breaks down. Flooring suddenly gives way beneath your feet. The rumbling and clank of machinery gets louder as you move further down the passage. should disable the whole facility. The machinery loudly grinds and squeaks. Acrid smoke pours from the sabotaged equipment. of equipment in the main manufacturing sputters and stalls. Soon, the entire tower starts to wake. A trap can hurt. Uh, actually probably should have used that shrine. Use the Leary. It's quick. Before we go to the last fight. Rupturous heat and concussive force tear through the building as the main manufacturing collapses. A gnome roars at you as you enter the room. My wonderful equipment! How could you destroy it like that? You'll pay for this travesty! Ray. Too damaged to continue its assault. Hey, would be nice to get something. No, of course not. Don't be silly. We're not gonna get any loot. Okay, so the saga. Two quests left for the saga, and I think I'm going to go do the one in the harbor as opposed to doing this quest that's right here.
have any points to spend? Three points to spend. Right, so we went up this line here, which gives any summon or hire or conjured creature that we use a whole bunch of defensive and offensive boosts. Uh, so that's good. And we will up our brow. So it looks good. Okay, so let's see where we are in the saga. Yeah, yeah, so I have two left. So, I'm going to go Arbor. Yeah, quest. A little bit more straightforward than that one. Although that other one isn't that bad. This quest, though, has a pretty decent pair of goggles. Take Larafe. Keep her pinned right here. You are here underwater, encased in a magical bubble of air. A war forge weighs you over. No doubt she's one of the crew sent to salvage the ship's cargo. They can hit pretty hard. The water near these ruins churns violently, creating unnatural eddies. Something nearby must be causing these dangerous currents. Now that this ritual site has been dealt with, okay. And so here, so I go invisible. No longer use water currents to sink nearby ships. We're just gonna sneak in. We're not going to mess around out here. We're just going to run invisible right to the door. They'll know we're here, but they won't be able to see us immediately. From the sunken ships but we made it. So now we're in. Cave, but none have Vaunt's mark on them. The Sahuagin must have taken Vaunt's cargo inside the cave. You step out of the water and into cool cave air. It seems that the Sahuagin have created some sort of magical barrier to keep the ocean at bay. You find a small key and wonder what it opens. Okay, we're gonna try. You hear the telltale sounds of traps nearby. This. See how this is. Yeah, our latency looks pretty decent. Better. Should be okay. Gonna wait until my shining through is up and then I'll hit it again. Don't I do. Alright, so it's up. It's gonna 
Actually, oh, that hit really hard. <laughs> 200 something for that trap. But we made it. Words carved into the altar read, Sate my hunger, and the way shall open. The altar pulses red, reacting to the blood. Perhaps creatures sacrificed inside this circle of ruins will also contribute to the ritual. This just gives us an extra chest at the end. It's worth, you know, doing it for fun. I might have to reset it again. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Swabbies. Need to make offer four, three, two. This is the option. The final zombie dies right in the ritual circle, and a sense of dread creeps up your spine. The altar hums, then glows an ominous red. A nearby cave okay, going to make myself invisible. Reveal the way forward. A Sahuagan stands before a vast portal, which allows ships to come and go while hiding. With the portal master dead, the pirates will no longer be able to use this cave as a base. Okay, I'm going to open with tentacles your search is final death field and a hold monster i don't know what this junk does but people back in shan are paying us plenty to steal it With the pirates out of the way you can finally take a look at Vaunt's cargo. You've recovered Vaunt's So that's the extra chest right there. Last. It must be very valuable to have drawn such attention, whatever it is. So we finished that. That means we finished the saga. Excellent. Should probably do this last quest just for the XP. All things considered. So this will really give us the saga.
I'm gonna pin Larafe here. Buff up. Somewhere nearby is the Stormreach Beacon, Vaughn's protection against vengeful forge wraiths. The beacon will surely be under heavy guard. Okay, and I'm going to bluff him. Tonight you'll Failed. steal the beacon back from under Vaughn's nose. And if you do it right, no one will be able to stand in your way. 50 gold. I'm going to tell this dude go and preoccupy the other people. So I'll take a back backstage, detain the mercenaries, or let me get back to you. Just detain the mercenaries. Okay, they're going to attack me back here. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, I really need to get that enchantment TC up. I keep failing. Old monsters. It's a fine evening here in Sharn, says Lucian Vaunt, his voice brimming with confidence. And tomorrow, tomorrow will be truly beautiful. Vaunt will be talking on stage for a while. Now's your chance to steal back the Stormreach Beacon. Another announcement. On behalf of Vaunt Arcanotechnic. Okay, is this is kind of gross. Revised and perfected version of my device. In here. Totally gross. Alright, so start with the tentacles. Hold. Didn't get anything. 
I'm just gonna misty step right through them all and just try to get them. Still, the bot arcane apprentice has new functionality and new spells. It's simple enough that a brute with absolutely no arcane training can use it. My charming assistant will now demonstrate. The troll lashes out in anger. I'm not. Uh, well, clearly, uh, smashing it is not how you get the best value. I'm gonna lead everything back here. Then cast a hold monster on it. And we do have an extra tough adamantine edition of the device available. We should have used that one. Okay, Evarts, because most of this stuff is robotic, so I can't really hold it anyway. And I'm gonna keep jumping so I don't get hit by the um these arcanotechnics. Watch my hit points. Throw another Evard on them. They seem to be kind of immune to it, though, so. Pick up that remnant. I'm gonna use a poison potion since they're spewing poison at me. Zendrick and see the same perfect result. That looks good. Okay, so D door has no side effects. Who have you been talking to? Every Vaunt Arcanotechnic device is built to the highest standards of quality. What? What's going on? Lucian okay, I've got it. With a cry now I go through the door. Lips. He died as he lived. Um, can I give myself some mana? So. Oh, that's great. Getting closer to 20. Oh, I missed the door.
call her with. Good to do this fight now? So. The stolen beacon. Now, to return the artifact to Storm Reach, where it will once again guard the city and protect it for thousands of years. Oh, right, I have to kill these. There's something happening. Am I getting raided? Hey, the quest is done. Oh, no loot. Oh, God. Oh, subscribed. Excellent. Thank you. Appreciate that. Welcome. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are having a good day. If you're doing hardcore DDO, hope you're having good luck. I just finished all of Sharn and I've got a total of one item. I got the moon slice and then earlier in the thing I got the arc ricochet. That's it. The entire. So we tried though. Okay, so let me post this in the guild. Oh, oh Saga's done. We already did the cogs. Now, what do we do for XP? Save that, because somebody might want that. I'll throw it in the guild. Let's see if there's any groups doing high heroics. Ah, madness of crowds. Yeah, that's not bad. That's it. Wow. So there's a ton of groups, but not many people in our level range. There's one group that's doing epics. Locky's doing Slayers. 
it's one guy is doing madness of crowds and then level 15. So, probably. I think maybe. Oh, nice. Yeah, you guys subscribe. Billy, Myron, Nicholas, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a good night. Doing hardcore DDO. Trying to get to cap. Not worried about favor at all. I appreciate the subs. I appreciate the follows. Okay, this quest. Yeah, I think I know it. Reasonably well enough to not die. Although, it might be more interesting, right, if I do. The head librarian gestures to the man beside him. Mr. Stanley would like a word for you about it. His generous donations make our expeditions possible. Sadler gestures to the door behind him. We've arranged yeah, the groups get harder and harder to find on hardcore the higher level up you go. Zone was detected. Good luck. And I don't have a static, basically. I'm soloing, so. You've arrived at the Braillish border, near the manifest zone created by the Eye of Mibar. Now to find the sovereign host channel. The Eye of Sibar. A pack of ravenous wolves springs to attack. Chapel appears undamaged, but an eerie silence blankets the area. Perhaps the eye of Mebar is still stored. Oh, right, I have to go down first, right? Food tins out, half prepared. A fire has been laid in the heart, but it's unlit. I actually really like these quests. Someone carefully removed the wall here, revealing a vault. There should be a bunch of undead, yeah. A quick search of the vault reveals okay. that the Eye of Maybar is no longer here. Yet the Maybar manifest only makes it clear. The Eye must be somewhere in the area. Perhaps you can learn more in the hamlet that is said to be nearby. So we have our shrine if we need it. And sometimes there's like an optional rare that appears in this graveyard. We'll see if it's here. Strange. No. Usually it's All like right here. All the graves in this graveyard have been recently disturbed. Many trees have been felled here, presumably to make the freshly built house that surrounds the hamlet. Stuck in a bear trap. Can't move. Could pull out Darling and have her get the traps, but I'm just gonna try to jump. Several gates seal off the path. 
Before you can try one, skeletons claw their way out of the ground. Oh, skeleton. With the ambush defeated, the gates are no longer an obstacle. Forget, do I need to go down? Do not go. No, right here, there's a whole bunch of monsters. Yeah. Yep. I know that because I almost got killed by them in a seat in a hardcore season. In a previous hardcore season, almost got killed. So as long as I'm in this goofball trap, I'm just going to shield block. And for some reason, better. Strewn around the town square are the remains of a secret door. The villagers likely were trying to hide here. You know the armor from this quest is pretty good. As the cell door opens, hidden hand prisoners make a break for free. All right, now we have to go and fight the, um, well, it's a quell. There's treasure down below, but I think it's trapped. You don't have to worry about being quelled because we're arcade. Quell dissipates with a final defiant cry. The barrier sealing off the manor hall fades away. Okay, hopefully I don't hit a bear trap. Looks good. Skeleton hisses as I approach. I mine the right of conquest. I won't sacrifice my plans to some paltry pack of late comers. Wow, the heroic version of this guy doesn't have a lot of hit points. Yeah, he's almost dead. That's crazy. Much easier than the legendary version. Army of Eternal Night. You have retrieved the eye of Mabar. Oh, come on. Can't I can't seem to find loot to save my life. Technically I can probably take level 19, yes. Since it's a four level split, it won't matter. love to find a tome as an end reward that would be really cool oh disruption 
Pretty cool. Doesn't really mean anything now, but one point it was great. Uh no. Mm, this one. Okay. Warforged guarding the farmhouse wants you to investigate the appearance of the giant tree as well as rescue any farmers you come across. This bizarre event must be related to the eye of the mind. I love the giant chipmunks. Where are they going? Uh, fire beetles. Let's see if I can finger one. Yeah, I can. So if I can finger that one, I'm going to try Death Field. Okay, the Death Field failed. I wonder why. It's like the same exact DC. We'll try on those that's warm there. Let's do that one. Okay, yeah, I didn't get any of them. again. Oh, I got two of them. Stands before a nearby hollow that leads deep into the tree. See, this actually will let you pass this. If the woodwork defeated, you can continue your investigation of the giant tree. You then the Romania Manifest Zone. A clear indicator. Of Lamania is nearby. These huge branches thrum with life force. They look sturdy enough to walk across.
Right they're immune. It's circle of death, these things, though, probably. Got one of them. Got all of them. That's great. That worked. All right, so I have to go down and fight this guy. So if it's placement, try not to stay near those fire beetles. All right, gonna throw out a Evarts. And a death field. Help me. Try to finger that blight. That worked. It's a wood world gone. The protected pathway is now accessible. Easy peasy. Oh, this last fight. Fresh, all of my. You found the I need Larafay. I can always call her in here, but. Rise to prevent you from taking it. So these guys with Evarts, try to get that champion. A death field. These people here. It hit some of them. Okay, so here's the boss. Doesn't he pull more ads? I thought he did. Yeah, there they are. Cards on them. Defeated, you're now able to retrieve the eye of Lamania. You take the eye of Lamania with the eye pretty cool. The area. Perhaps this huge tree, oh. gigantic animals will eventually return. It has to be a streak, right? Like, how many quests can I go before I actually beat a useful piece of gear? It's crazy.
Hmm. Take a level. Okay, and so this is the level where we get second. Nice, that's good. And now we do Arcane Tempest. Greatly increase our DPS. 